A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, Would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, just like what I said in the beginning, we live in an anxiety-ridden society. Everything can disturb us, can lead us to anxiety. Because mostly we cannot see in the future. Mostly We live in uncertainty world. The simple example, when uh, these two years we need to decide things, we have to count many things. How if this one happen? How if this one happen? How if this one happen? And then even to plan for a holiday. It's difficult to get flight, to get hotel, to get everything. Every country has different regulation. This is really lead us to uncertainty things, world, and cause us anxiety, stress. And Jesus know it very clear. Do not let your heart be troubled because when our heart be troubled we full of anxiety we lose things that important in our life that is happiness and Jesus not just remind us to not let our heart be troubled, but also he give us the remedy for anxiety in the very clear way. Have faith. Have faith in God and in me, Jesus said. My dear brothers and sisters, According to the Catechism, number 150, faith is first of all a personal adherence of man to God. At the same time, and inseparably, it is a free ascent to the whole truth that God has revealed. There, are antidotes for anxiety. But the question is, how do we grow in faith? We were given the seeds of faith at our baptism. 
just as we grow from toddlerhood to adulthood we must nurture our faith from its nascent origins to mature spirituality we not doing this by ourselves i always remind you we never alone we do this by asking the lord every day to increase our faith we can do by reading and studying to continually deepen our understanding of christ reading the bible praying daily rosary attend the sacrament receive the sacrament eucharist confession this is the way we grow our faith this is the way we nurture our faith yes there is many things in our life that able to lead us to anxiety to stress but also there in our life are many things that help us to be calm help us to grow in faith and again one of a uh, simple yet powerful weapon is a rosary especially this may we pray rosary every day and not just during may we pray rosary every day because this is a simple weapon simple tools for us to fight anxiety and to grow our faith in god amen